So will this Luna burn really work? And really will Luna ever go to one cent, 10 cents, one dollar, all of that sort of stuff we're going to discuss right now. And if you don't know me already, my name's Connor, not a financial advisor. So never make any financial decisions based on these videos. Let's jump straight onto the video. Right now we do have Terra Classic down 10%. We got Terra UST down 37%. This is the classic one. And we do have Terra 2.0 down 10%. The overall market is looking kind of red, kind of green. It's basically in the middle, but over on coin market cap, if we do jump over here, over to coin market cap here, we can see overall the market is up close to 1%, just teetering on that $900 billion mark. Bitcoin did have a quick wick down below the $20,000, but we have reclaimed that $20,000 mark. And as you know, Bitcoin does really decide what's happening in this this market so it's very important to continue watch watching what's happening over there so with this burn we have seen over here that this has passed 1.2 percent on all transactions has passed so hopefully this will be implemented soon but we have to take into consideration that first of all there are trillions trillions of coins right now in supply of Terra Classic, right? This is going to take a long time to burn. And the second most important thing to look at is the fact that the volume in its most, in its majority is coming from centralized exchanges. So these centralized exchanges have to choose to implement this 1.2% tax. This 1.2% tax will only be on-chain transactions. Centralized exchanges do not trade on-chain. Although with that said, we have seen the Terra Station on Terra Finder, the Terra Wallet of Binance growing day to day. They got 2.5 billion coins, Terra Classic coins here worth 300, worth 320 million US dollars. They have come down a little bit in their UST Classic holdings today, but this could be a plan that CZ has to basically give back to the community to burn these coins, or it is simply liquidity, right? There is lots of rumors going around of all these different things, but it could simply just be liquidity for the exchange. So do keep that in mind. But right now, if we don't see the burn coming in to all of the coins, basically to get this to a cent, 10 cents, $1 is basically impossible, right? Half a cent right now, half a cent would be the same market cap as Luna Classic before the death spiral. So when there was still huge funds, VCs, everything in Luna, that would be half a cent of the current circulating supply. If we can get this circulating supply back down to 10 billion, like this proposal is hoping for, of course we can see a dollar, ten, $10, all of that sort of stuff. We can see that again, only if we can get down to this, which even if there's a 1.2% transaction fee on every transaction, including the centralized exchanges, it's gonna take a long time. There are trillions of coins in circulation. The difference between a million and a billion is huge, and the difference between a billion and a trillion is just obscenely large, okay? So please keep that into consideration. But we did have one piece of good news with this. Coin in is the first exchange to accept this. So it is not impossible to think that these centralized exchanges could accept it. It is just going to be a long time coming, right? This isn't something that's going to come really fast. And that ties me into the fact that we don't need to chase pumps. As we've seen here, Terra Classic did pump. There was no need to chase that pumps. We can wait for the price to come back down and decide if we want to enter again. If you do want to trade both long and short, so you make the best of any situation, you can do that over on KuCoin. They're one of my favorite exchanges. And if you do use the link down there in my description, you can get up to a 500 UST bonus just from depositing on the exchange. So it's basically a win-win. So if you fancy it, the link's down there in my description. And remember, when you're out there, stay safe. Try not to chase pumps because when we do see a pump in this market, in this bearish market right now, they nearly always come back down, right? So we need to practice patience, discipline, and stick to a game plan. If I did provide you some value today, considering subscribing to this channel, this is my new backup channel, and I would love for you to join me here. I post shorts, I post clips, and I post secondary content than I do on my main channel. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.